Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how kinetics work using the StarCraft II editor. Now kinetics are a type of physics that they added into a feature using the StarCraft II editor. There are plenty of examples of how these work. One example is a conveyor belt, sort of like this. And this example is something I found using SC2 Mapster, which I have links to in my description. As you can see, when a unit sure enters the field, sure. there are certain uh, physics which you can't yes, normally do in other features. Looking forward to it. Can be replicated using kinetics. Another one is this uh, follow feature. This one's kind of interesting looking. Our cannon uh, shall uh, see. Multiple units orbiting around this portal. And I can go over here. We march to victory. And they, uh, uh, function so one more example is uh, 2d physics uh, one of the fields that is sort of lacking on using the starcraft 2 editor is the 2d world and this is found also on the uh, sc2 mapster forms credit from this guy uh, so there are plenty of options to use connects from. So, how do we actually make these kinetics? So I'm just going to do a simple example. I'm going to do a new uh, new map. Okay. So let's do. Let's place some units. Let's do a marine. Uh, Raven. Place it close to here. So let's say we want this uh, Raven to orbit this uh, Marine. And then maybe have, uh, let's actually have one of these critters just have it follow the Marine, just as an effect. So now we have a plan. Let's go into the data editor. So, if you don't have this kinetics tab at the top, you want to go to the plus, go to advanced game data and kinetics. So what you'll want to do is add a new kinetic, and you'll want to make it a follow type. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It will let your unit follow the uh, target unit. So let's make it uh just name it whatever. Just gonna label it for now. So you'll notice a few different fields here. The chance is the uh percentage uh chance that the this uh, kinetic will actually follow through and function. The cycles is how many times it will do the kinetic. The duration is how long uh, the total amount of cycles will take. So let's say 10 cycles for 10 seconds. So that will mean it will do one cycle every one second. So Usually you can keep these the same value at, at caster. You can tell it to... Um, you can tell this uh, kinetic to activate when a certain effect activates, which is helpful for, say, WSAD movement. But we're going to leave that blank for this particular example. So now that we have a follow, going to need a rotate. So let's do rotate. Okay. So now you notice there are more fields that we didn't have before. So, if we go into our rotate kinetic, and you'll notice 
I have this error in my uh, editor. This I'm not exactly sure why it happens, but it happens to some people. And if you have this error, you have to do things a little bit differently. So what you have here is your pitch roll and the yaw. So what these are, are these the uh, directions that it will actually rotate. And if you scroll over here, it actually tells you more specifically uh, how it rotates. So it, say I want to change the pitch. So notice this with this error, there's no actual uh, fields you can edit here. So what you'll have to do is go up to the top here, and do view raw data, and then it will let you edit these fields. So you can do um, these are all in degrees. So 360 would be a full spin. So let's do that. So let's turn off the raw data. Go back to our rotate. Which I actually forgot to save. You gotta push enter, which I did not do. So what we want to do is go into the data editor into the rotate. And instead of pitch, we're going to want to set the yaw to 360. So I did not realize uh, the z-axis is actually when I view the terrain is actually going this way and the x which was the pitch is actually going over the marine and trying to go into the ground and that was not correct. So now that we have that so, if you would like to add more, there's also translate, which is moving side to side. You can also set and have multiple kinetics be applied. Uh, there's a sequence if you want certain things to happen in a certain order. Uh, you can play around with those if you want. But for this example, I'm just going to stick with these two simple ones. So, one last thing that I need to add is in your kinetics and the rotate. You're also going to need to set the duration. This is how quickly it does the rotation. So let's do five seconds. It takes five seconds to completely do a circle around the unit. So that should be good for that. So now what you'll need is you'll need to go to the effects. So now you want to make an effect to actually apply your kinetic that you just made. So go to your effects tab and add an effect. Do apply follow for the follow uh, kinetic. And you'll notice there is a handy type called apply kinetic. So let's use that. I'm just going to do some extra labels so I can easier uh, so I can easily find it later. you'll notice there are a few fields here. Chance is how likely it is to actually happen between uh, 0 and 1. Like You can have it have a uh, not happen every time. So, if you notice this field here called kinetic, you want to actually choose the kinetic you made, the follow in this case. Keep everything else the same. So now I'm going to need to make a behavior. And Follow, and uh, you can make it either a buff or an attribute. I would probably make it a buff for now. You can always change it later. Doesn't particularly matter because we're not changing any stats. So then let's do. We need, still need to make a rotate behavior. So let's do that. Make it a. And click OK. So, in this behavior we made earlier, you'll notice there is a field called effect initial. This is the effect that happens when the behavior starts. So, we're going to want to add the kinetic to that. 
which actually I'm on the wrong one, I'm on the rotate. I'm going to be on the follow. So let's add the effect we just made. So now let's go back to effects and let's make another one. Let's do the rotate, make it a kinetic. So then go here back to kinetic, click rotate, then we're going to want to go back to the behaviors we made, and we're going to want to go back to the rotate one, and let's go to effect initial, oh, wrong one, let's go to kinetic, and it looks like I didn't label it property properly. named it weirdly. That's okay. So, now that we have that set, our kinetic is now officially set up to work. However, it is not actually linked to any abilities or units yet. So, let's go back to our terrain and remember that we have this uh, marine that we made and we wanted this uh, raven to rotate the marine and we wanted this turret to follow the marine. So let's go into the trigger editor. For this specific situation, it's going to be in triggers. If you wanted it to be over all marines, say any marine in the map you want this to happen, then you could do this using the data editor by uh, linking an ability to that effect we made. But since we only want it to this marine, we're going to do it through triggers. So if we go to the triggers, I'm going to want to do a new action. So if you type in add behavior, so this is also what you do, uh, what you can do. If you wanted it to be every marine on the map, you could go to units, go to marine. And if you go down to, uh, if you go to behaviors, it's a behaviors plus field in which you can add the kinetic behaviors here, and then every marine will have that kinetic. You could also add it to a specific, the effect to a specific ability, and then the kinetic will apply every time that ability is run. So let's go back to the triggers for this example we're doing. So let's add one behavior. So let's go to kinetics. So let's do the rotate first. So you add, so the first one is the one that you want to be moving. And the second one is the target you want it to move around. So let's go to unit. So I want this raven to go around the marine. And also, I believe you have to also have the follow doing the same. If you don't do the follow, I believe that the uh, if, if the marine moves, the raven will not move with it. So you want to also add the follow to the same coordinates. So let's add one more. Let's add a follow to the turret. So now the turret will follow the marine. And that is all you have to do to set up a kinetic. So let's try it out. Okay, so it's loaded. So as you can see, I have this marine, and the raven is orbiting, like we set the rotate to, around the marine. And I can move the marine go, around, go, go. and all of the units follow the marine into it. And we can place it in the follow kinetic. That's fine. 
Roger that. Using the Eastern Correct team right here. 